Prime Minister has in many ways achieved substantial success. The yeah. 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 There, is, there is one statistic that I understand is not, however, challengeable, and that is that over her 11 years, the gap between the richest 10 per cent and the poorest 10 per cent in this country has widened substantially. How can she say at the end of her chapter of British politics that she can justify many people in a constituency such as mine being relatively much poorer off, much less well housed, and much less well provided than it was in 1979? Surely she accepts that is not a record that she or any Prime Minister can be proud of. Mr. Speaker, all levels of income are better off than they were in 1979. But what the Honourable Member is saying is that he would rather the poor were poorer, provided the rich were less rich. That way you will never create the wealth for better social services as we have. And what a policy! Yes, he would rather have the poor poorer, provided the rich were less rich. That is a liberal policy. Yes, it came out. He didn't intend it to. The, the, the Prime Minister is aware that uh, I detest every single one of her domestic policies and have never had that. I think that the Honourable Gentleman knows that I have the same contempt for his socialist policies as the people of East Europe who have experienced it have it for that. I think I must have hit the right nail on the head when I pointed out that the logic of those policies are they'd rather have the poor poorer. Once they start to talk about the gap, they'd rather the gap was that. <laughs> Down here. That. Not that. But that. So long as the gap is smaller, so long as the gap is smaller, They'd rather have the poor poorer. You do not create wealth and opportunity that way.